Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Secret of Mana, and this is Nintendo Capri Sun, and we shall be continuing. So after that nice long monologue I had about Peppy in the last episode, well, it wasn't really a monologue, I don't know what you'd call it, but, uh, yeah, I, de I decided in between these two videos to go look up all Peppy's lines and see what other ones I could find, and see if I can, like, find some more examples of, like, lines that my sister and I made fun of. Well, I couldn't really find much. I was surprised. Because I thought we had more than just that one, but... But there were some pretty cool lines that I'd forgotten about that he says. Stuff like, um... <laughs> like when you accidentally shoot him and he's like, What's the big idea, Fox? You know, because he talks like a southerner. He's really cool. I actually, in Star Fox Assault, for the GameCube, I know a lot of people don't like that game. I thought it was kind of cool, though. But at the end of that game, Peppy, like... Well, Peppy's a lot more likable in that game for some reason. But as I was looking it up on Wikipedia, the line, do a barrel roll, was actually linked to another page about... And whatever the page it was that it linked to didn't have anything to do with do a barrel roll, but it did mention something about... So all I can remember now is there was something about some kind of act of cyber terrorism or something. We got another dragon here. And somehow something awful was involved. Like, they weren't the ones doing it, but, like, they were somehow speaking out against it or something, so... But still, wow. <laughs> I didn't really... I, I don't know, I... I'm such a horrible reader, I don't even pick up on half of what I read, and I think that's why I don't read books. Because I'll sit there and I'll read, like, two pages, and next thing you know, suddenly, you know, I'll realize that I haven't been paying attention for the last two pages. Somehow my eyes have just glossed over the words, and it's like I'm not even absorbing whatever message it was that they were trying to say. It's like, I don't know why that happens, but it's like, I, I am constantly daydreaming, thinking about something, and, and so because of that, it's like I find it hard to pay attention to things. So I've never been able to, like, re like even Stephen King, I love Stephen King, and I've actually read a few of his. But it's just like, wow, I mean, I can't pay attention for the life of me, I just can't do it for some reason. Dude, I've got the wrong... Yeah. Okay. We got another dragon here that we're gonna have to fight. And it's pretty much gonna be the same as it was before. Maybe these guys aren't weak against air blast or something? Cause I gotta tell you. You know, I probably should think about stealing some magic, cause he couldn't possibly have that much left. He's got 21, okay, well, it'll be good enough for this, so. Oh, yeah, we get to fight one in a cave now, do we? Well, maybe we can get this right. Now that we got the armor, this shouldn't be as bad as the last one was. These these dragons are basically all the same in terms of how powerful they are, so no matter what, no matter how you do it, it's going to get easier as it goes along. You just got to get past that first one, and then it's no problem. I'm not going to use ranged weapons this time. I don't know what I was talking about in that last video doing that. Because it doesn't seem to really make a difference. Yeah, he's not He's not doing anything. Do a barrel roll! Oh, I'm on fire. How can you do a barrel roll when you're on fire? Yeah, and I found something else out that's kind of cool. The guy that does Peppy's voice also did the voice of Bowser in Super Mario 64 and Mario Kart 64. He also did the voices of Toad and Yoshi in Mario Kart 64. I thought that was kind of cool, because I never would have expected that. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay, I gotta stop my charge here because we're in trouble. Oh yeah, we, uh, we'd be in trouble. Oh, no, that's not going to affect her, is it? Thank goodness. Okay, do I have a couple wishes? Yes, I do. I'm not using magic to bring her back. To bring him back. Excuse me. <laughs> Got a little confused there. Where did he fly off to? Sure enough, there is. It looks like there's a skull switch on that wall. That, you know, I read that. I read that somewhere. That somebody said, is it just my imagination, or does it look like there's a skull switch on the wall back there? It does. Right back there at the backmost point. <laughs> How utterly strange. Alright, if you would just get straight ahead of me here. Oh, ooh, ooh. oh man. 
Oh, what a waste of time that was. As you could probably have guessed, this guy is weak against Freeze, so... We'll just be doing that now. In five minutes already. You know, normally I just come in and beat these guys in like two minutes by spamming the magic. I don't know how I did that, though. It's not like that's fun. You know? Oh. Let's do it again. Just charge level one. He's going all over the place. This guy does not stop. Oops. Did it again. I keep trying to push three buttons at one time here. Stopping would not be a bad idea. Oh man. Wow, what a waste of time that turned out to be. Oh, well if I could just hit him, he would stop, I think, but... Like this. No. Like this. No. Okay. Like this. No. Like this. Yes! There we go. Now he's stopping. Well... Yeah, let's just keep doing that. I'm gonna stop charging my weapons up. It's like... It's like playing the lottery. Sometimes you're better off just going for something that's easier to win, like the pick three and the pick four, rather than trying to go for the huge money. I mean, look at it this way. At least if you win, like, the, like $80 or something like that, you don't have to pay taxes on it. And so in the long run, you're better off, you know, in terms of what percentage of the money that you actually keep, you're better off going for the smaller prizes. You're not gonna get the big ones anyway. Nobody ever gets those. Unless they're like 60 years old. Which is ample proof to me that karma exists. Because, you know, it amazes me why, you know, that it's always old people that win the lottery. Of course, it's only old people that play it, I guess, you know. And it never fails. I go to get my check at the customer service desk and I end up standing there for two minutes behind some old person who's going through and picking out scratch-off tickets. You know, I don't have anything against them. I mean, they can do whatever they want to. It's fine. It's just, wow, it amazes me, you know, that so many of them do that. Oh, we were getting some good hits on this thing. I'm not even using moon energy. I probably should use moon energy. Are we just going to spend the rest of our battle standing? Well, there we go. Okay, I just beat him. What do you know? I cannot believe that. That, it, that he died that fast. Um. <laughs> and the next boss after this one is one of the most dreadful bosses in the entire game. He is called Thunder Gigas. Thunder Gigas. We got the gloves orb. And yeah. Well, I can't get through, through these rocks right here, but yeah, there's something up there. Can we get it with a long-range weapon? Huh. Guess not. Wow, that would have been a cool secret. Oh well. Too bad. Let's get out of here. Give me back my sword. You know what? I'm not interested in fighting you guys. Let's just... Ugh. Well, now that I've charged it this far, I'm gonna go ahead and let it rip. Oh, now I'm unconscious! Oh wow, you got me up pretty quick there. Do a barrel roll! Oh yeah, that was a nice barrel roll. Okay, um, we're out of here. I am so out of here. Okay, now will you let me pass? So that's four of the bosses gone. Uh, no, don't save my game. I can do that myself. Now we have some more ice thugs here. Man, I am getting a lot of critical hits. I have never never seen this many before. Mm, blah, 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 blah. Oh wow, we got a nice variety here. There's one enemy is weak against air, one weak against fire, and one weak against... You know, I haven't shown you the burst spell yet. Here goes burst. And this is not gonna do jack squad. Where's the damage? Oh no! One of them had wall. Oh dear me. Well, thank goodness it was divided among three enemies, so it only did one damage to me. Ooh, treasure chest! I want it! I want it! Show me what I got. Chocolate won't fit. Oh, yeah. What are you doing giving me chocolate, man? Whip reaches level 8. I think that's our first level 8 weapon that we have now. 
Oops, am I silenced or something? For some reason, I'm getting confused about which way I'm going here. Let's just get through this, y'all. Wait, wait, is it up here? No? Oh, that's awful strange. I think I went the wrong way. It's easy to get lost in here. Okay, well, well let's just get out of here. Good lord, man. Ooh. Okay, we're up to 10.30. I believe the next boss is just beyond this area. This little area. So what I'm gonna do is gnome these guys. And I'm gonna try and stop this before 11 minutes because I'm having some serious issues trying to... Oh, I just did it again! Do those guys have perpetual wall or something? Jeez. Okay, well that's all for this episode of Let's Play Secret of Mana. I will see you next time at the boss.